Now, what are some of the damages that can happen to your brain when you have high blood pressure? When you have high blood pressure, even though the pressure is very high, the brain is actually not getting all the oxygen and all the blood it needs. What are some of the, some of the things that stop the brain from getting the supplies it needs? When you have high blood pressure, you have a lot of constriction in the blood vessels. And you might have plaque build up along the blood vessels that can restrict the blood flow to the brain. High blood pressure is also associated with other health problems. Like you have, may have a severe lung problem that would lower the level of oxygen in your blood. You may have anemia or you may smoke that could cut down the level of oxygen in your blood. You may have other diseases that contribute to uh, decrease the supply of oxygen and nutrients to your brain. What does that mean? Now, your brain, as we get older, you lose some brain cells every day. If the brain is not getting the supply it needs, then that process is going to be accelerated. That means if the disease progresses, the brain will get less and less oxygen and other supplies, so it may contribute or it may worsen many of the age-related brain diseases like dementia, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and other age-related brain diseases. One of the most serious consequences or damage that could happen to the brain is when you have a stroke. Now what can cause a stroke when you have high blood pressure? Sometimes when the blood pressure is too high, it can rupture one of the blood vessels that supply an area of the brain. And if that area doesn't get the blood supply, it dies. And that's when you have a stroke. Another thing that could happen is you could have a blockage to one of the blood vessels that supply the brain. If you have a lot of cholesterol and blood build up along the blood vessels, sometimes that can become dislodged and come up to the brain and block one of the vessels in the brain. That would cut off the blood supply to that area of the brain and you end up with a stroke. What happens to you when you have a stroke? Depending on the area where the brain is affected. If it's a big area, you have a widespread problem. You could have paralyzed one side of your body, you could lose eyesight, you could lose sensation, depending on how severe the problem is, how severe the blockages or the rupture is along the blood vessels that goes to your brain. Just out of curious, when are you most likely to have a stroke? You've probably seen some movies how they have a very old but rich man, someone give him some bad news, suddenly he have a heart attack <laughs> or a stroke, and then he fall down and he die. Now that is uh, some of the scenarios that can cause a stroke. Another example is when someone could come into hospital with a severe lung disease or severe pneumonia and you come out of hospital having a stroke. Why is that so? When your body is under a lot of stress, either mentally or physically, when you have uh, like a severe panic attack, severe depression attack, your blood pressure will go up the roof. And when your blood pressure go up, you're more likely to have a rupture in one of the blood vessels to the brain. And that could cause a stroke. 